हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज सिस्टम वेरी लॉक इसेंशियल सीरीज वेर वी आर लर्निंग कॉम्प्लिकेटेड सिस्टम वेरी लॉक कॉन्सेप्ट इन ईजी लैंग्वेज टूडे वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन अ कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड प्रोग्राम ब्लॉक वी विल स्टार्ट विथ अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट इज अ प्रोग्राम ब्लॉक Program block is a construct which is provided by system Verilog language. And why is system Verilog providing this construct is for modeling the test bench environment. Here I would like you to pay attention to the word test bench, which means program block is a construct which is meant specifically for the test bench. now we need to understand what are some important purposes which program block serves the first thing is it provides an entry point to the execution of test benches we are highlighting this test bench again and again so that you understand that program block is specifically meant for test bench not for the design it is provided keeping the test bench in mind that's why this program block is providing entry point to execution of test benches next important point is in your test bench you will have lot of things you will have data task functions you will have other things like classes and everything you can hold all these things together with the help of program block another very important feature of program block is it executes in reactive region now why this feature is very important you have heard about a condition which is called as race condition we always try to avoid this race condition now your design if you see i have already covered in detail various regions in the system very log essential series only i have covered various regions in your timing there we have discussed about the regions called as reactive region active region and a lot of other regions everything in your design say all the non blocking assignments in your design are executed in the active region itself it means all the variables are stabilized in the active region you get all the values from the design by the end of active region and then after the active region only the reactive region will execute since your design values are already stable before you enter this program block because all the constructs inside your program block will execute in reactive region so by that time the design variables are already stable this is why the race condition is avoided using the program block this is very important to understand right in very simple language i explained you since all the assignments in design block are completed by active region it means all the values in the design will be stable by active region and only after the completion of active region the reactive region executes your program block executes in reactive region that's why it will avoid the race condition because your design values are already stable very simple to understand the next important thing is where can you see this program block you can see this program block inside modules and interfaces and it can also be nested modules and interfaces remember this one very important thing which you should note down is your program block whatever variables you are using in your program block it can only be assigned using blocking assignments you can't use non blocking assignments if you use non blocking assignments in program block it will result in an error now see this is also simple logic i will tell you why i have said that my design variable should be stable by active region 
and what are the things which execute in active region there is a non blocking assignment one of the thing which executes in reactive re in active region is non blocking assignment if you use non blocking assignment in program block as well as design block then again it will cause race condition but i don't want this race condition that is why in my program block i will not allow non blocking assignment i will only use blocking assignment now see to understand program block properly you should understand various regions in system very log that's why i am requesting you to please go through the lecture which is various regions in system very log which i have covered in detail in the system very log essential series only if you scroll through the previous video tutorials in the system very log essential series there is a complete detailed tutorial on system very log regions please go through that because it will help you understand what things execute in what region and then this thing uh, where we are again and again saying that program block executes in reactive region we cannot use non blocking assignment we use only blocking assignments and program block avoids race condition all these things will be very clear once you understand those various regions in system very log so please go through that and now i'll continue with the program block now we understood some basic things about program block why it was introduced in system very log what are the things uh, like how you can de declare uh, how you can assign values to variables inside program block using blocking assignments only and where can you find this program block inside modules and interfaces now let's move on what are the things which you can keep inside the program block a program block can contain these things it can contain some data declarations you can have some data types you can declare some data inside your program block you can also have some class definitions then you can have some subroutine definitions also you can have object instances and you can have initial and final procedures please note here i have said only initial and final i did not say always only initial and final data you can have class subroutines objects initial and final now what are the things that you cannot have in program block the things you cannot have in program block is always procedures then you cannot have primitive instances cannot have module instances you can have program block inside module but you cannot have module inside program please remember inside a module program block is allowed but inside program block module instances are not allowed interface instances you cannot have in program block but inside interface you can have a program block and other program instances also you cannot have in program block simple always procedures you can't have primitive instances you can't have you can't have module or interface inside program block but inside a module or interface program block can exist and you cannot have other program instances in a program block what are various advantages of program block first thing is it will separate your design and test bench then very important thing it avoids race condition i have explained in detail how it avoids race condition mainly because it executes in reactive region and before that all the data values inside your design are stable and it enables cycle and transaction level abstraction you can have both cycle as well as transaction level abstraction whatever is your requirement you can choose now let us see how we declare a program block if we use the keyword program to start a program block and we use the keyword end program to end the program block now here the name of my program block is test 
Inside this, I am taking some inputs. I am taking clock, I am taking reset, I am taking address and there is in-out data. It can be input as well as output. Then I have initial begin. Remember, I said inside program block, we can have initial, we can have final, but we cannot have always. So here in this example, we are using initial and whatever code you want inside this, you can write. So this is a skeleton to show you how the program block declaration can happen. Now what we will do, let us do one thing. We will create a coding example of program block. We will run it, execute it and see the output. Because with that, once we run the output, you will be very clear how you can code a program block as per your requirement. Now let's move on to the coding example of the program block. This is the coding example of program block. I have taken very simple example because at this moment I want you to understand how to code the program block. Then as per your requirement, you can create the program block. Now, in here what I have done, first I have taken the DUT. DUT is design under test. Very simple DUT. There is only one output of 8-bit address. And I am initializing it to 11 in the initial block then i have the test bench and in the test bench i am using a program block here you can see there is program and end program the name is tb here i am having the input 8-bit input address in the dut this was output in my test bench this becomes input and I am just displaying the address. That's it. Very simple example. In the design, there is an output address. I am assigning. Right now, I am just hard coding it to 11. And in the test bench, I have the input address, which is of 8-bit. I am just displaying the value of that address. Then I have the test bench top. In the test bench top, I am declaring 8-bit variable address. I am creating the instance of DUT and inside DUT we have one output variable and that is 8-bit address. So this particular variable I am assigning whatever output from the design will come that will get assigned to this particular variable. And then you can see I am creating the instance of TB also here and again address inside TB it is an input. Right now, what will happen when you call this TB instance, this initial block will execute and it will display the address which it got from the design, which is 11. So finally, we should see this display. Now, let me run this and we will see if we are actually able to get this value. Yes, we are able to see address equal to 11. Now see, uh, just for your understanding, I have taken very simple examples in the real life scenario. There will be a lot of complicated examples. Of course, your DUT will have a lot of inputs and outputs similarly for the test bench. And we will not just display the values in the real time. We will perform some operations on whatever variables are there. So now it is up to you. I have explained the concept of program block. I have even showed you one simple example. Now you need to yourself practice some more examples to keep this concept in your mind. Now it's up to you how much practice you want to do. But at least basics I have clarified from my side. I hope all these lectures are helping you to understand all the system Verilog concepts. I'm trying to explain in as easy language as possible. And I'm also trying to explain with the help of coding example. I'm making you understand the code, then run it, execute and show you the output so that you are able to understand how to code anything in system very long. To stay tuned to such quality content on VLSI topics, you can stay tuned to Sweetie Speaks official YouTube channel by subscribing the channel and turning on the notifications. I'll see you soon in the next video lecture where we will discuss some more concepts on VLSI. Thank you and best luck.